out of your friends, which are you? Truck freak crazy ass. The fighter. So you want to play the fighter. After all, why would you pick a class when you can just be all the classes? Well, today I'm going to show you how to do just that. I'll show you the best perks and items for the fighter, and also how to go from nothing to a little more than nothing. Being able to use every weapon in the game, the fighter can really be whatever you want it to be. For your very first perk, I would take Swift or Defense Mastery. I prefer Swift because speed is really important in this game. Running towards enemies to kill them or away is crucial. And second up is Defense Mastery. This makes all of your armor more armory. You become the walking beefcake tank that you were meant to be. Remember, fighters don't just pump iron. They wear it for a living. The third perk I like to take is Combo Attack. Now this one's a little more flexible, you can fit it to your playstyle, but I like Combo Attack because I use shorter swords, and with that, every time you hit an enemy in a row, you do 10% more damage, meaning the more hits you get, the more damage you do. And the final perk I'd like to take is Weapon Mastery. Now again, you can choose whichever one you want, but Weapon Mastery lets you take bows, which can be really useful. Finally, for your skills, you're gonna take Sprint, and second win, there's not really any other options, the rest are kind of niche. Sprint is your I'm fast as fuck, boy. And second wind is your oh shit button. It heals 50% of your health. For weapons, I like to go with the sword and shield along with the bow, but it's whatever you're comfortable with. Long swords can be really strong. Spears can also be really good. Halberds are alright. It's really whatever makes you feel good about yourself. Now let's get into some gameplay. Starting off, I was just collecting treasure for these first few runs, trying to make some bank. I like to kill these bats in death skulls because they carry pendants and rings a lot. And what do you know? I found a ring. But it had will and magic powers, so it's kind of useless for me. It was a little later on that I heard a ranger shooting a mummy. So I jumped down, used the go fast button, and got the jump on him. But he closed the door in my face. He must have thought he was sneaky because he went and hid in a corner, but I saw him anyways. After a few slaps in the face, he crumbled. This ranger actually had a decent amount of stuff, a couple of blues, which is really nice, you can sell those for a lot of money, and a couple of pendants for me to put on. Right after that, I made a friend, but the game had other ideas for us. Oh no! No! Oh my god. I just watched that man get absolutely destroyed. <laughs> like, I feel bad now. I still gotta loot him though. Rest in peace, Kanye the Giant. Rest in peace. After my friend died, the circle was closing in, and I needed to find an escape portal. So once I saw one, my master plan was to kite all of the enemies using the go fast button, and it worked. I took him into a hallway, ran past, and got out with an insanely good first run on the fighter. I got green boots, green pants, two rings, a pendant, gloves, a green sword, and like 200 gold worth of treasure. It doesn't really get better than that for a first run. On the next run, I tried to fight a barbarian, and I died. Now that's the dark and darker I know. PSA to not fight barbarians when this debuff is active. On my third run, I literally just smacked goblins and got money. It's that easy. Okay, maybe it's not always easy, but you get the idea. In my next game, I found this bard looting a goblin, and I don't like to bully bards. I mean, bards, bards are cool guys. They just doot doot. I've tried playing solo bard. I've got a video coming out on that soon. Don't play solo bard, <laughs> please. After playing Ring Around the Rosie with the bard for a little bit, I finally managed to land the killing blow and put him out of his misery. And you know what my reward was for all that? Nothing. I just got to feel bad about myself. Bards deserve better. After that run, I was able to hit level 5 and put on weapon mastery. I guess I just wanted to try out the bow, and conveniently found a longbow on a goblin I killed. I also found some nice green boots. Then I used a healing shrine to get back to full health. And I gotta say, people, use your shrines. Healing, speed, and protection are all so good. Later on, I saw a rogue being chased by a skeleton champion, and I wanted nothing to do with him, so I left. I thought I could get the jump on him, but it was just another bard. I thought it was the rogue. Bards can't catch a break. I'm so sorry. 
The rest of this run was pretty uneventful until the end where I have a good chance here to show you why the bow is so good and why fighters are taking it. That little man didn't see what was coming. Maybe it was vengeance for killing those bards earlier, but I almost died to an elite death beetle and got out, barely, with some scraps in my inventory. Alright, now a lot of old players already know this, but for new players, this room here is a treasure trove if you can kill these two goblins. Both of the shelves in here are just filled with gems, bracelets, jewels, you name it. You can get like an easy 100 or 200 schmeckles by coming into this room every single time. And here it is on the map. I think it's on the far south side? Don't quote me on that. Another great tip, if you're healing up and maybe don't want to die, make friends. Everyone knows that the universal symbol of friendship is teabagging. It's not about the killing, it's about the friends you made along the way. Unless you're a ranger. If you're a ranger, it's on site. For all you fighters out there, if you're gonna take a two-handed weapon, maybe take a shield in the other slot. If you have to fight a ranger, you'll thank yourself. Right after I fought that ranger, I found another random fighter. And in battles like these, it's literally just who can hit the other person in the head. And your gear, of course. But headshots are everything. After that run, I was looking pretty juicy loot-wise and wanted to escape before a random rogue stabbed me. Now for the biggest fight of them all. I found purple gloves in a chest, and the stats were terrible for a fighter. They were all magic-y and mystical, but nonetheless, they were good purple gloves. See, now that I had good loot, I didn't want to die, and this rogue just walked up on me. So I got a little scared. I thought he might have been geared. He wasn't. And he died. I looted him real quick and got out of the storm, but immediately as I turned around, here comes the big cleric the fight of the century. I popped my second win because I knew he was going to do some damage to me. Now when you fight a cleric, it's generally good to wait for their debuffs to run out, which is what I did here. I just kind of played back, watching his glowy mace. And as he tried to go in, I got the final hit off. He had a nice sword for me too, blue arming sword, and a good amount of treasure. He also had a random purple leather cap and I'm not going to say no to purple gear. Now these next few clips are from the previous playtest, but I think there's a few good lessons here. Oh my god, he's healing me. <laughs> it's a miracle! Thank you, brother. Alright, so the key to surviving as fighter is to just find a cleric that will heal you. Friendship is always the way. No! No! <laughs> no! Rest in peace, McVinna. Now for the context of this next clip. There was a man in the lobby talking about craft singles. You know, like, the cheese. And I found him again. Is it the craft singles guy? That might be the craft singles guy. You the guy with the craft singles? Oh yeah, I'm the craft singles guy. Oh uh, yeah, I was hoping to find you. Oh, I need to learn. singles and what they can do. I go by the name Fatty Wrangler, so I think I know a thing or two about craft single slice. <laughs> Don't seem to be prepared for combat. I'm trying to get <laughs> Hey, nothing. What's up, man? <laughs> oh my god. I gotta help that guy. I'll back you up. I'll back you up. No! Floor spikes? Floor spikes. If any of you have seen these guys, let me know. I miss them. And I need to know what craft singles can do. Anyways, after a good couple of runs, this is what I came out with. Bunch of greens, blues, a few purples, and a decent amount of gold. Nothing too crazy, but... It's a lot better than having nothing at all. And if you ever need to buy more stuff, just go over to the trade market, find a purple item that's a decent price. As a fighter, you're going to look for, you know, health, damage, physical power, anything a big strong man would need. That's what a fighter needs and buy it. 
And that about covers the fighter. Let me know in the comments down below which class you guys would like me to play next, and I will see you all next time. Peace.